hello, hello! And welcome back as I try and salvage what few tiny shreds remain of my soul after tossing a litter of kittens into a sausage grinder in Perfidious Pete Play's Darkest Dungeon. So, yeah, I don't feel all that great about the Joseph Mengele-esque experiment I performed on the New Warriors last episode. Not because it was tantamount to kicking a group of orphans off a subway platform on their way to free admission day at the zoo. I'm actually shockingly okay with that part of it, but what has me troubled is that I didn't actually learn anything. All that misery and suffering and sacrifice, and I didn't even find out whether or not blasting a set of twins with a lethal dose of ionizing radiation will allow one of them to transform into a giant bird and the other into a bucket of water. Holy shit, did Pete just make a Wonder Twins slash Nazi war criminal mashup joke? Yes, yes I did in fact, because, you know, I have no shame at all and that's just how I roll. And speaking of rolling, I've probably dithered enough in the intro for this episode. I think it's time to get all chocolate starfish and the hot dog flavored water up in this mug and get to work. Now, you can't see we do have a town event here. The total party wipe that we suffered last episode, although maybe not suffered is the right word. I would say invited is probably more appropriate. But we do have a minus 15% virtue chance on our next quest, which means I'm not going into the darkest dungeon. Even though there's basically zero chance for a virtue in the darkest dungeons, there is still a chance, how be it however small, and I'd like that on my side if possible. So instead, I think what we'll do is we're just going to take the Fantastic Four and go see if we can kill the Drowned Crew. Or not, because the Drowned Crew is not available. Okay, well maybe we'll just take the Fantastic Four into the co- Wow, we could go try and hand it to Gibbering Prophet. Also, Johnny Storm, what the hell happened to your face? Holy- Now he's back to normal suddenly. That's real creepy. Also, what disease does Stu Storm? Oh, she's lethargic. That's actually not that bad. Do I want to take this crew to fight the Gibbering Prophet? The Gibbering Prophet is more of a damage race than stress, though. So maybe the Fantastic Four is the wrong call. Maybe what we do is... Okay, what's the mission in the cove? Let, let's just check it out first. Okay, it gets us another Sacred Scroll, which we actively don't need. We could use the cache, though. Be a medium length dungeon, 9,000 in cash and prizes. I like to. Okay, I'm definitely not imagining this. For the last couple episodes, I wondered if maybe Darkest Dungeon had gotten its grips on my psyche, but I'm very definitely not imagining the horrible, horrible faces that some of our troopers are experiencing. That is not my imagination. If we wanted to try the Gibbering Prophet, though. Wait a minute, is there a short. Do we have... Ooh, what are you? Nah, I don't care about the Ancestor's Portrait. Is there a short? I'd, I'd, I'd really... If there was a short champion mission, I would do it. Not in the wield, though. Because, you know, fuck the wield. Hashtag fuck the wield. I'm never going back, chat. I'm not. I'm just... I'd also get a bit of a Twitch hanger because I'm recording this after a live stream. So if I dress the... What the... There's all kinds of weird, creepy stuff going on now. The Darkest Dungeon is really kind of freaking me out. You know what? No. I'm just getting it... Ah! Okay, I'm just getting a team together and we're going in the cove. That's it. I've had enough. Benjamin Grimm, please lead the charge. Johnny Storm, we're just going to go fight a regular mission in the cove and try and unlock the Drowned Crew so that we can then go and murder them. This is... Uh, I don't know. I think maybe my Mangala-esque experiment has broken me. Now I'm seeing the faces of those I have wronged every single place I look. It's just a gestalt of the new warriors that I've murdered. Hey, we don't even have to adjust our trinkets, though, because they're already right from our last episode. Although, we probably could afford to take the Ancestor's map on this one. In fact, you know what? Yeah, let's let's do that. We'll get rid of the Quick Draw Charm, which, honestly, I feel like did us a pretty good turn. I like that combo for the Jester. The extra critical on his first turn, especially when he's going to be throwing Finale, that is a nice little combo. Oh, wait, what about the new trinket we picked up? The Ancestor's Tentacle. Not terrible. We also, oh, we got the, ta we do have these, Talisman of the Flame. Minus 100% stress from the skill Revelation. Plus 100% protection from the skill Revelation. <sighs> Somehow I feel like we're going to need this and I don't know what it's useful for. I'm concerned. Maybe we take one of these on our run into the Darkest Dungeon because I'm, I'm it seems like it's something we're going to need. 
I just don't know when, and I don't know where, and I don't know how, and I don't know why, and I don't know much, but I know I love you. I do love the Fantastic Four. Not the actual Fantastic Four. I think they're kind of mediocre as far as superhero groups go. But the Darkest Dungeon Fantastic Four is like a light years better than the actual Fantastic Four ever even thought about being. So we've got our trinkets. We're ready for our mission. Let's get some provisions and get to work. I'm thinking let's take two full stacks of food. Yeah, no reason to scrimp here. If, if we cheap out here, likely what we're going to do is wind up causing ourselves. We're going to cost ourselves more gold than we're going to save by cheaping out. So... Let's go with just the one key, I think, and maybe another medicinal herb. I should take at least two of every interactable, because let's face it, I don't remember or don't know what the curios in the cove do, and I'm going to waste some just like trying stuff. I'll be like, what is it that activates coral again? And then I'll forget, and I'll try everything. None of it will work, and then I'll remember, oh, yeah, you don't actually have to use anything. You just poke it. It's actually not true. I'm pretty sure it's medicinal herbs on coral, but I'm probably wrong, because I've been wrong literally every time. Loading up the dungeon. Tentacled lurkers lie in wait just below the water's surface. You should tread carefully. You know, I would be more inclined to tread carefully if it just said Portuguese men of war Recover lurk just below the surface. Then I would very definitely tread carefully because screw those things. They hurt. Into even less scrupulous hands. So what are the odds that one of our three relics is up top? I'm going to guess better than fair to middling. What is this thing? Oh, no. Don't, 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 don't do it. You hate mankind. All right, well, John, what did that replace, though? Wield scrounger? Honestly, mankind hater is better. Also, shouldn't that just be called misanthrope? It really seems like that should just be called misanthrope, because that, that's actually what it is. Switch outfit. I've never seen this button before. Oh, we can change Johnny Storm's colors. Yeah, you know, the purple is fine. Also, Johnny Storm, you're not in the right spot. You're supposed to be leading the party. Back in front. Or get to the front. I'm pretty sure I didn't set that up right coming in. But that's okay, because you're about to finale and kill one of these dastardly fishmen. Dastardly fishman? Did not die. Little disappointed in your output, but that's okay. Reed Richards was there to pick up the slack. Seaward Slash coming at us. 18 damage, huh? That's... Okay, and followed by 17 damage. Those two hits are not insignificant. Reed Richards is badly mangled. Yeah, it looks like he's just been through the ringer. See, you say that, and I said badly mangled, and then been through the ringer. You know, the, you know, the, 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 the device that people used to use back in the olden days to squish the water out of laundry was actually called a mangle. A laundry mangle. The things you learn when you pay attention to perfidious people. Although, I'm sure most of you probably actually, you know, probably already knew that. Still pretty badass, though. What'd you do to your laundry? Man, I mangled the shit out of it. It just sounds like it's really tough. Like, yeah, I went out and mangled some laundry. You're like, man, it must be really clean now. You know it, dude. I mangled it. Reed Richards definitely did not mangle that angry fish man, though. Use a little more mangling here, Richards. We're going to be perfectly frank. We could go for the self-heal and the cheap heals, but I'm not worried about the damage. I'd rather just murder this man. Those guys hit really hard, and a critical from them can be shockingly dangerous. So let's just move along. We'll take our kill, keep, keep traveling on. Really what we're looking to do here is scout. Maybe some scouting. We got the Ancestor's map. There's what I wanted. Is there a curio up here? There is a curio and an obstacle and an empty room, so we're just going to immediately backtrack. I'm not going to walk all the way through there and waste a shovel to go see the inside of an empty room. Sorry, my mama raised a fool, but not that great a fool. I'm not, I'm a fool, but I'm not so foolish that Mr. T would have pitied me. He'd been like, I pity the fool, except for that one. I mean, he's just a little bit foolish. I don't pity him that much. Mostly because everything he gets, he deserves. He brings it on himself. I don't pity that fool. Okay. Speaking of pity and the fool, here's an opportunity for me to display my foolishness. I'm almost positive this gets rid of a negative quirk, and I'm likewise almost positive that we use medicinal herbs to do it. So you have fear of unholy and a love interest. That's neither of those are terrible. Reed Richards, you're a cornucopia of phobia. You're a bad gambler. It ruins phobia. You gotta, I'd really like to get rid of weak grip. That's real shitty. Resolution of Paranormania, though, I don't care much about. Tipler, Calm, Hagiomania, Egomania, the Yips. All of these things are bad, but 
For a Vestal, they're not any really of them are any deal breakers. Misses the spot is bad. Guilty Conscience and High Romania both also kind of suck, but it's like Reed Richards has the most locked in awful shit, right? Let's all right, Reed, fine. Oh, Reed Richards, Reed Richards, it's all about Reed. <laughs> Everything for Reed. Well, good, we got rid of weak grip. That was, okay, if I could have picked one to get rid of, that's the one I would have picked. Perfect, now Reed never has to do anything ever again. I have stolen one of the relics of my ancestors. Fortune waiting to be spent. It actually looks like a rock wrapped in a bundle of rags. It looks more like the thing that Indiana Jones went looking for in Indiana at the second in Temple of Doom, like the magic rocks. Never understood that either. Why the hell was Indy caring? Why did, why did he give a shit about magic rocks? That guy was tearing people's hearts out of their... They're beating hard out of their chest, man. I don't know if you want to go risk tangling with that dude over some magic freaking rocks. That just seems like a terrible idea. I guess we could go for the smite. The heal would not have been bad either, but I would rather kill this guy before he gets a chance to squirt juice at us. That's fine. Johnny Storm dodged the juice. Don't be squirting me with your juice, dog. That's all I'm telling you. You know, that is not cool. You got to get permission for juice squirtings. No random squirtings. That actually sounds really, really, sh like, shockingly dirty. Maybe I'm going to give you a juice squirting. Ugh. Beat myself out of it. Honestly, I'd rather kill the spear fisherman than anything else. We didn't quite get there, which is unfortunate. We'll just hit Octocestus because he's guarding Shrimpy the Snail anyway. Spear fishing. Okay. See, this is why we wanted to get that guy. Staggering force. He does really good damage. I don't want to... Eh. I was going to say I don't want him to hit me again, but I'm confident that Reed Richards will beat him on a speed roll. Let's just go for the AoE heal. Everybody's hurt. That was the perfect opportunity for it. And see, there's Reed backing me up. He's, he's rewarding my faith in him with the stalwart dodge. Johnny Storm, likewise, with the dodge. I'm telling you, you cannot inscort Johnny Storm. He's un he's uninsquirtable. Nobody's squirting Johnny Storm. I, I would assume probably the fiery aura makes him difficult to squirt, just because he probably vaporizes anything that comes his way. Be like, you trying to squirt me, dog? No, I'll vaporize that shit. Got a protective layer of fiery burning. Wish I had a protective layer of fiery burning. It just kind of sounds badass. Another dodge from Reed Richards. Mr. Fantastic. Ooh, look at that. That's some fantastic work from Mr. Fantastic. He's fantastic in the shit out of it. All right, Johnny Storm may go solo finale here simply for lack of better stuff to do. We got five damage out of that. Whoop, shit. 11 damage out of that. Is he still? He's not even guarding the snail anymore. I should have killed the snail long before now. The Octocestus. Okay, Benjamin Grimm isn't the dodging type. He's just going to take it to the face and be comfortable with it. Johnny Storm, once again, will not be inscorted. You cannot inscortinate Johnny Storm. He's not having it. You take your shit and you squirt it elsewhere, dog. Johnny Storm will not be squirted. Not upon, not in, not near, not around. I'm going for the finale. Kill the. Yeah, kill the station. Is broken. Maintain the offensive. We have broken their formation. Okay. I guess we'll maintain the offensive then in the vice of Wayne June. Comes the Octocestus. Five damage. No problem. The bleed is a little less fortunate. It's actually a pretty hefty bleed. We got a nine damage finale, huh? Wow, that's... Okay. Something. Reed Richards softens him up. I'm gonna... You know, I'm gonna go forego the heal here. Mostly because we need so little damage, we can get a bonus kill. Oh, never mind. She wasn't hurt. I was like, we could heal and kill and then get heals on both units, but actually, it doesn't matter at all. We could have done it either way. Although, I suppose that way we did get some slight amount of heal on Ben Grimm that we otherwise would have ended the fight and avoided because of the end of the fight. I guess we'll get rid of these portraits. Maybe we burn a torch, throw it on the ground, the take the sapphires, take born. the gold, and leave the busts. Although, we're going to have to get rid of something else right now. Well, we could use a bandage. I don't want to ditch the key. Let's get rid of the other bandage. And then we'll take our relic. Two down, one to go. Alright, so far so good. 
Dungeons look at solid. Little scouting to find that last relic would be nice. Although we are kind of here for the loot. Oh, secret room. We're definitely going that way. So Kirio, we got an obstacle. A Kirio. All right, let's just go here. The room battle with treasure is interesting, but since we can't carry the treasure at this point Hello, anyway, Larinar. we got to free up some inventory space. I do want to hit that secret room, though. We could have up to 7,500 gold in there, and I need that gold. I need the... Screw your spoiled baby. I need those shoes. Pack has already been looted. Disappointing. Then again, if there had been looted, and I'm not sure how we would have carried it anyway. Hey, Reed Richards, you're supposed to be Johnny Big Dome thinking style guy who has the answer to every problem, has a solution for every scenario. That dodge really sucks. But you're supposed to be Johnny Magic Man, the guy with all the answers. Why can't you come up with something to help our carrying capacity here? This is what I would like to know. How come you have not solved the we have more loot than we can carry problem? I mean, I'm not a smart man, but I could have built a wagon by now. This is not a complex technology. It's just a wagon. Falling down on the job, Richards. You really are. We're going to kill the bleed unit. I'm assuming this guy's going to guard the most irritating unit, which is going to be the stress-causing unit. Barnacle barrier? Nope, he's going to barrier that guy. All right. Not the way I would have gone with it, but uh, I'm not going to complain. Especially now that the stress unit is dead. extra stress relief for Sue Storm. So let's just uh, start whipping knives into eyeballs then. These fishmen have really big, like, bulbous eyes too, so it's an easy target. They also kind of have, like, a bullseye. Not only are their eyes large and bulbous, but they're also, you know, like a natural target. Be like, oh, I should just shoot right for the center there in his big, bulbous, roomy eye. Get right for the old gods. Okay, that hurt a little. The stress is also unfortunate as well. Octocestus. No, that's fine. Darkest Dungeon, just uh, non-stop criticals all across the board. Just have it your way. This is acceptable to us. Go ahead and mark my unit that has like 65 dodge, too. I'm, I'm actually okay with that. I think we'll go Inspiring too. here. Our stress is getting a little high. We do still have a campfire we can burn, so if we're really worried about it, we can just camp. That's what I wanted to see. Nice work, Reed. Oh, you've bled on my best coat. You know, I would assume, Reed, that you probably, with your magnificent, fantastic scientific abilities, would have probably come up with some kind of blood-resistant fabric to keep the uniforms clean. I mean, it's fireproof. It's invisible-proof, I would assume. It's ultimately stretchy, and uh, it's, it's also, you know, immune to rock dust. I mean, I'm guessing the blood should just kind of wash right out of that, right? I did not mean to hit that man. I actually meant to hit the guy in the front. A little mistargeting there. It's it's a slight miscue, but I think ultimately it's probably not going to matter much. These guys are all the dead. They're just... They're making it linger. They're trying to grind away my time. I, I hate these barnacle barrier sons of bitches specifically for that. They're not really dangerous. They just make missions take a really, really, really long, dull, boring, grindy time. You guys are going to get mowed down like wheat before the scythe. Just just sit back and accept the fact that you are doomed. These guys are also uncritical. It's not a word, but it should be. Comes another Ren for the old gods. They're trying to stack a billion points of bleeds on us. Everything runs red. Yeah, not really that worried about it. Just kill the bleed unit and... Oh, yeah, right. He's still running. That's what you need to do there, Richards, is just dodge that shit, and then we don't have to worry about how big the bleed is. If he stacks it over on us above 15 points per round, though, that's going to be a little troublesome. Are you still... You're still guarded, huh? All right, well... Well, I was going to say, if we're still bleeding, then we should get rid of that bleed, but we're actually not still bleeding, so at this point, there's really no reason to Shadow Fade. More speed, more crit, I guess. What's our bonus critical up to? It's an extra 12%, and yet I can't help but notice that we're still not generating any criticals at all. Pete Richards with the adroit dodge. We'll go for the group heal. Everybody's a little banged up. Here comes the Octocestus. And this is why you should bring, like, blight damage into the wield. It really is the smart move. Is this stack beyond 12 or is three stacks? Uh, three stacks is the most we can get. Okay. 
There was finally a critical, and it was worth foregoing it, even if we take damage on this to get the extra hit on that dude. Totally worth it. The critical damage on that guy probably shortened this fight by an entire round. Big ol' critical heal. I'd have rather had the critical on the damage and gotten the kill, because it would have saved us that 10 damage. Coming on the backside. Um, stress relief. Who's got the most? Nine, six, seven, eight. Sue Storm had nine, but they get a little sibling rivalry between Johnny and Sue. They don't like to help each other out. They each want the other to like realize, oh, I'm so independent. That's, that's what they're, they're all about. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be all right, beaten. Well, we'll just ignore that stuff and move along. We are a little banged up, and we're going into a fight. Our light level pretty much maxed, so I uh, should put Johnny Storm in front. The one time, I've, I think I've remembered to put him in front more this time when I actually forgot how the party order is supposed to work. I've probably done a better job of having him in front at the start of every combat this time than I do when I put him in front on purpose so that he can always start with the finale. I've probably gotten more finales off this way. Okay, Benjamin Grimm is actually really hurt. And Reed Richards is likewise very hurt and bleeding. Comes a stressful incantation. Sue Storm with the surprise dodge. Okay, uh, yes. Oh, that was a clutch crit right there, Sue Storm. Not that it's going to matter for the bleed. And Toxin Trickery, you know what? Kill both of those guys. Said both of them read. Guy never listens. He said, Oh, I know best. I'm Reed Richards. I know everything. Tell me how to operate. I've been Fantastic Four and 20 years before you were born, B. Don't tell me how to be fantastic. I know. A little bit of extra healing out of there out of Benjamin J. Grimm. The Eldritch push. I was going to say, we should damn sure be dodging that because we toxin trickery. We should be basically unhittable at the moment. Yes, we could have gone for the heal on Benjamin J. Grimm, but I really want that stress unit dead. The stress unit kill, I feel, was vastly more important than some trivial healing for Benjamin Grimm. Let's do Battle Ballad. Get those buffs up. A critical heal would be nice. Oh. I'm, I'm just... Oh, come on, Richards. You didn't dodge that? What a punk move. Yeah, I called you a punk. That was a that was a bitch move, Richards. That was a bitch move. Seven stress, no stress, two stress, no stress. All right. Sounds like a Dr. Seuss ride. Seven stress, no stress. My stress, you stress. How about a pick to the face, though, jerk? Followed by a giant sword in the spine. And not so funny when you're on your receiving end, is it? So clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? It's merely a trick of the light. Now, give me my secret room. Who's bleeding? Reed. Probably fine. My secret room, though. And where's my last curio? All right, well, we're... You know what? I'm just going to camp. We're having inventory space problems. Camping gets rid of all of our stress. It clears one of our inventory spots because of the food. And then we can also, you know, get some buffs or something. Nobody has a Mortality debuff, Unshakable Leader, Pep Talk. Benjamin Grimm, I keep forgetting to give you the right abilities. Stuff box. Let's do... We might as well get rid of that Lethargy. There's no reason to let it linger. It's not a Cranberry song. We don't need... Um, I mean, we don't need Stress Relief. So, let's prevent Nighttime Ambush. And is there anything else, like, useful we can do? How much time have we got left? Still six. Uh, well, we should bless... Who needs bonus accuracy and bonus dodge? You know what, Benjamin Grimm? I'll give that to you. The bonus dodge, I'm thinking, will be useful. We could also give minus 20% stress to someone for the next four battles. That's more of a stress heal, though. Do we have anything better? Bonus scouting chance. I mean, we already found a secret room. We're sleeping in it. Tiger's Eye? Oh, plus five crit. Um, You know what? Yeah, let's, let's Tiger's Eye. Reed Richards, you have the eye of the tiger. It's the eye of the tiger, which the bit of the fight. Stretching out his appendages until his rivals cannot see where they're going because they're wrapped in black cloth. And he's watching and with the stretching pants of Reed Richards. 
I got a little field there at the end, but I still feel the melody was at least on target. All right, what's in the box then? We'll just throw this other key on the ground because we only brought one key specifically for this purpose. So we're going to take those two, we throw this key on the ground, and then we replace that with a third puzzling trapezohedron, and suddenly we're rich enough to buy the Baxter building. I'm sure, I mean, we might as well look in the sack. A thousand gold. Definitely was worth a look. What do we want to get rid of? 325 gold is probably worth throwing something on the floor for. Um, you know what? Let's get rid of the medicinal herbs. We already got rid of one negative cork. What are the odds we get a double up on that? I'm going to guess pretty slim. 95% chance. 95. Yeah, might as well be read. Disarmed. Excellent. And we're moving. We're continuing along through the dungeon. All right, the people, come on. And we're safety. adventuring. We're adventuring. More scouting. Just find me that last curio so I can leave. I've got everything I want. Kirio, room battle with Kirio. That could be it. Kirio, Kirio, Kirio. This might be what we're looking for. Maybe we're not like you two, who still hasn't found what they're looking for. Maybe we've stumbled across it. You two can keep searching. I don't care. They got billions of dollars. I don't think the Edge is really looking for anything. I think he probably has all of the things he's ever been looking to find. And a torch, the step through the door, the have clear. my ancestor's relic in here. Nope, it's just a giant clam. Alright, well, the giant clam is disappointing, and once again, I've forgotten to take my insta-gib by putting Johnny Storm where he needs to be, but maybe... Yeah, I was hopeful, but my hope was in vain. Alright, well, we're taking a run for the old gods, and once again, making a fight harder than it has to be. Hey, making things harder than it has to be, though. That's basically the Perfidious Pete channel motto. Perfidious Pete, making things harder than they have to be since 2000 and... Ow! That was a lot of damage. If we get pulled to the front, we're in a bad spot. We resist the pull, we resist it. Spear fishing? Eh, don't care. Johnny Storm, he dodges it. Alright, well, you're gonna have to heal Benjamin J. Grimm, because he got most of his face chopped off. We call that one the Tyrion Lannister special. You gotta be kidding me. You're gonna leave a guy with two health? All right, fine. You're gonna leave dudes with two health if that's how you're gonna play it? Fine. We'll let a real player come up to the front and do his worst here. With the accuracy penalty from the solo, we should be nigh unhittable here. Beautiful dodge, stressful incantation. Stress is irrelevant. Benjamin, I want you to kill this murderous fish man and make certain that he does not have a chance to engage his fishy wiles. Meanwhile, Two Storm is just going to try and glue the rest of your face back together. What's left of it at any rate. All right. Get finale, chump. That did really good damage, and I want you to just be dead. No more stress out of you. Yes, we leave the high damage unit in the position to do high damage, and he's probably going to swing at Two Storm. Which, honestly, is fine. She hasn't really taken a whole lot of damage here. He's not going to kill her in one swing. Oh, he's actually swinging at Johnny Storm instead. Sucker! Storm is way dodgy. Impressive. Benjamin Grimm getting a little payback for the whole face chopping. And I guess we'll just, here, get rid of your stress suit. A nice calming ballad to soothe your jangled nerves. And then we'll watch as your husband throws a knife into a fish man's bulging eye. Spear fishing. See, this is what you should have done last time, fish man. That's the smarter play, especially considering that Benjamin Grimm can't hit you with anything. So we'll have him heal Sue Storm and undo the damage that you have caused, and we'll have Sue smite you with a bolt from the heavens. Or smite at you, I guess. Uh, here, give me more crit. This makes Reed Richards more likely to throw this knife through the back of that man's head. Exactly right. Then he taunts him, telling him you're looking a tad wan. Exactly the kind of taunt one would expect from a chump stain like Reed Richards. You look a tad wan, my friend. All right, so we could probably open the giant oyster with the shovel. But we got a whole buttload of gold. Well, give me that. Drink it? Do I want it? Not really. Definitely not at the cost of my last shovel. I can't get rid of my food. Yeah, you know what? I, I got to get rid of something though. All right, anti venom. I guess you're gone. No, don't don't take the don't take the elephant charm. Take the take the cash money, please. I want the money, the cash money. Take you know money. 
Cash, cash money. That was not what I intended to do, but we got lucky and it worked out anyway. Stashed heirlooms in the box. We're just gonna leave those on the ground. At this point, I've got so many of my ancestors' heirlooms that I'm swimming in them. Really need to hold a garage sale That's to get rid of some of this crap. Purchase. The manor's Spirit starting to look like a hoarder's den. That crap stacked everywhere. Move to, okay, quest location. This is where we're going then. This is gonna be the end of things. Reed, disarm the trap. Not even the trap master himself couldn't fool Reed Richards. I always felt sorry for Trap Master. He had the shittiest power. Oh, I can build traps. Well, anybody can build traps. How are you a superhero? But my traps are really good. Well, clearly they're not because every time a superhero comes in, no matter how punishingly stupid they are, they never have any trouble getting around your traps, Trap Master. I think you're more like Trap Apprentice than a Trap Master. Oh, there's not even a fight in here. It's just the thing. All right, fine. I'll drop this shovel, take the thing, and we'll leave. Object on my search. And good day to you then, Dungeon. We're done. We got like 10,000 gold, completed our quest. I don't see any reason to linger around. Really, all we're trying to do is grind this through so that we can unlock the drowned crew and go and murder them. For the second time, can you murder the dead thing? I mean, that which is dead cannot die, right? That's 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 the sort of the, well, it's not really the motto, I guess, of the Greyjoys. Their motto is, we do not sow. Or their words are, we do not sow, but... I guess it's the saying of the drowned god. Don't like the damp hair. Replaced on guard, stout. That's real shitty, actually. Cove Explorer replaced Lurker. Well, Lurker was shit and doing nothing for us, so Cove Explorer is technically better. Automatonophobia is eh, not really a problem. In fact, we've had it so many times now that I've actually learned how to say automatonophobia without stammering over it once or twice. Hey, cheap supplies next time. Met at the bridge by a jubilant crowd. The caretaker credits a thick fog and an early departure time for the wagon's safe arrival. Yeah, because traveling in the fog is typically supremely safe. No chance you'll drive that wagon right off a cliff. We've seen the crazy-ass stagecoach driver. I'm thinking stagecoach Steve there is not a safe driver at the best of times. Thog seems like it would be a just catastrophic calamity. Benjamin Grimm is some kind of gibbering abomination. Man, that portrait thing is really, it's really kind of freaking me out. Nobody worth recruiting. Okay. Well, I was hopeful we might have a low level team. We're going to have a tough time coming up with a team for the third dungeon. I'm thinking we may have to do like some training exercises. Did we unlock the drowned crew? The drowned crew is unlocked and that'll probably be our next mission then. What do we get? The crew's bell. Uh, it's actually kind of shitty, but that'll probably be our next mission. We'll just go down there. Take we'll probably just take the Fantastic Four again. Hey, I'm you know me. You know me. I'm the dance with the one that brung you got. It doesn't matter how ugly she is, it doesn't matter how bad she smells or how disagreeable her personality. She was polite enough to say yes when you asked her out. Damn it, you dance with her all night long. That's the way this is gonna go. I don't like the Fantastic Four, but they brought me to the party. I'm dancing with them until the lights go out and they put the take chairs up on the tables i'm also putting the chairs up on the tables in this episode if you enjoyed it feel free to drop a like down in the comment section your support does really mean a lot and if you'd like to see more fantastic four action you might consider subscribing as well because as much as i hate them they i can't i can't argue with their efficacy man they're so good they're so good thanks very much for watching i'll see you again soon